Hi there, Mike Brady with Generosity Wealth Management here in Boulder, Colorado, and I am uh, really pleased to be talking with you today. Uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about today. Uh, the first one that, uh, is volatility. Uh, on Wednesday, we had a, a Dow that was over 400 points up, and this is following the Thanksgiving week where the market was sharply down. It was low volume, but still sharply down. And it's my belief that this kind of volatility, and not just the last couple of weeks, we've seen a lot of volatility in the last year or so, I believe that it's going to continue going forward. And if that is true, then it's also my belief that some active management uh, should be considered for a client's portfolio. That's something that I'm going to be uh, talking with my clients about in the, in the coming months. It's also something I'm going to talk about in these videos uh, in the coming months that it may have a place uh, in a volatile environment. How can we um, best position our portfolio to take advantage of, of that particular market condition? So uh, if you're not one of my clients, I recommend that you give me a call and that we can uh, talk about it uh, kind of one-on-one -on -one in your personal situation. Kind of the second thing that I'm thinking about this week is, um, well, health care costs, and specifically as it relates to retirement. Um, I heard a statistic yesterday that, that uh, is very interesting. The Fortune 100, 91 out of the Fortune 100 in 1985 had traditional pension plans. Today, the Fortune 100, only 19 of them have uh, traditional pension plans. If you're a GE employee uh, starting today, you know, day, day one of your employment, you are not offered their traditional pension plan. And that is, uh, GE is one of the largest companies with the largest pension plans. So I think this is a trend that's going to continue going forward. Uh, and what this tells us is that you've got to take control of your saving and investing for your own retirement. Don't assume that someone else, either some big corporation or even Social Security is going to handle it. You've got to take control of it. And one of the largest expenses that you're going to have in uh, retirement are your health care costs. And 53% of individuals recently polled couldn't even estimate what those health care costs are. We're talking Medicare A and B and D and your estimated premium payments and your estimated out-of-pocket expenses. Um, these are some expenses that um, you're going to have to uh, you know, pay in your retirement. So the question is, uh, in your life expectancy, what uh, you know what what are they going to be what kind of a lump sum under certain assumptions will you need to have in retirement and of course the question is do you have that set aside you may you may not but let's try to quantify that on a piece of paper I have some wonderful software that I'm going to be working with clients in the next couple of months to um, to try to put that number down on a piece of paper so we can say boom this amount of money is what under uh, these assumptions we're going to need for the health care costs for the rest of your life. And so the question is, have you done that for yourself? Maybe you have. If you haven't, give me a call. I can uh, try to help you answer that question. Try to, it's, a, it's a hard number to really put down. Things are always in, in motion. But you know what? Let's try to estimate as best that we can. A, a, an estimate is better than not having any idea at all. And it's something that we can revise as the years go forward. So anyway, that's kind of what's on my mind this week. Um, let's see, Mike Brady, Generosity Wealth Management, 303-747-6455. Uh, uh, here in Boulder, Colorado, a comprehensive, uh, full-service wealth management firm. Uh, I love my clients. I have a great passion. I uh, treat my clients like members of my family. And, um, you know, if you're not my client, I would love to talk to you about whether it makes sense with what I do is right for you or what you need done is I'm the right person to help you with that. So, anyway, you have a wonderful week, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye now.